first thing we need to do is we need to go to Arduino IoT Cloud. Click on the link, it will redirect you to Arduino IoT Cloud web page. So it is loading, let it load. So this is what it looks like. Actually, I have created already two things. Let me delete this. So I am deleting this. So let me show you how it looks at the starting. So before creating anything, okay, I am deleting everything. Okay, it looks like this. Click on create thing. After you click on it, it will redirect you to a page. In this page, we have to add a variable. Okay, click on add variable. Since we are controlling a LED, I will be writing a variable name as LED. And which type it should be in float or what? I am creating a light type variable. So click on search in all categories and you will find the light type variable. Okay. Then click on add variable. So this we will be using for controlling. Okay. Next we have to add a device. So which device we are going to use? So click on link device. And here we are going to use third party device. Okay. Set up new device. Click on third party device. Click on ESP8266 and click on node MCO from the list. Okay. Use the board which you are using. You click on node MCO, then continue, then give any name, click on next. Here it generates a secret key. This key is important. Please copy it and keep it safe. So I am checking mark that I have copied, then click on OK, then click on done. So the device is linked. Next thing you need to do is configure the network. So to configure the network, click here, give the Wi Fi name. So after giving the Wi Fi name, you have to specify the hotspot. You have to specify the password, then paste the secret key, click on OK. So everything is done in this part. Next, we have to create a switch. Go to dashboard. Here we'll be using switches all OK. Also here click on build dashboard. Already I have created two. Don't look at them. Click on build dashboard. So it will load a page here. So it looks like this. Then click on add. So after you click on it, there will be many switches and gauge. Click on switch. And in the right side, there is an option called link variable. So we have to link the variable which we had created at the starting. So click on link variable, then click on LED, which we had created. After you click on the variable, it will link that variable to this switch. So I can turn on or off the switch from here. The, with uh, this dashboard, I can control the items. Okay. So whenever I turn on this switch, the value of LED variable will become one. When I turn off this, the value of LED will become zero. So by using this variable LED, I can turn on or off the LED on the board. So I can write the logic like if the LED variable is one, that is if the switch here is turned on, then I can turn on the LED on the board of the Arduino. So go to things. Let's write the code, go to sketch. So we have to write the code in the full editor. Like from here, we can't upload the code. So we have to click on open full editor. It will open the full web based uh, editor here on LED chain. So this is the function already defined. We have to write here. So if the LED variable which we created is equal to one, if the switch is on, we have to turn on the LED. So let us declare here. So I am creating a variable called int onboard LED is equal to two. I will be connecting the LED to second pin of the board. Next in the pin mode, we have to declare it as an output. So pin mode onboard LED has output. Okay, now we have to turn on this. Okay, let's go to the function. So if LED is equal to one, then we have to digital write this onboard LED high. So it will turn on the onboard LED if we turn on the switch. So this is what we have to write in the if statement. Next, we have to write the else statement. So in the else statement, we have to turn off the LED. So click on else. Then we have to copy the same and make it low. So I'll be pasting it here and making onboard LED has low. Okay. It will turn on the LED if the switch is on or else it will turn off the LED. So after writing this function, we have to select the board. Okay. So let me go to boards, select board and port. Here click on uh, ESP8266. Let's see if there is a board. Okay. There is no board called ESP8266. Click on node MCO. So I will be typing node MCO and selecting the board. Click on node MCO, then click on OK. So we have selected the board. Now to upload the code, here there is an option called upload. You can click on upload. Actually, I do not have the software installed uh, to upload the code. And also I have not connected the board. So it's not showing the upload option. You can connect the board and upload. 